Hey y'all, I'm Alex. Today I'm going to go over the lead hook and the rear uppercut. Now let's get started. First, let's start with the lead hook. So my right leg is going to be back, left leg is forward, so that means my left hand is in front, and that's the one we're going to do the hook with. So when you're doing your hook, the hook is going more of across the body rather than straight punches like a jab and cross. So when you're throwing that hook, you want to keep in mind your arm needs to stay bent, kind of like in an L shape. You don't want to overextend your punch. Keep it bent nice and in tight as you're throwing it. Second, you want to make sure that your knuckles, you can do it two different ways. One, I prefer having my knuckles more up like this, or you can have it this way where your knuckles are more going across your punch. So you can either go across like this or have your knuckles up like this. I prefer it like this personally. Next, you need to make sure to get some power and some pop on that punch, you want to do a little bit of pivoting with your hips. So this front hip, this front knee, and this front foot is going to pivot just slightly as I'm throwing my punch. It's going to go in the direction of the punch. That's going to give you a little bit more power and give you that nice pop on that punch. Now let's go over the rear uppercut. My right leg's back, so the uppercut's going to be with my right hand. Now when you do this, you're going to bring your back hand down slightly, and you're going to kind of scoop and punch up, aiming towards the chin. Now same thing, you want to keep your arm bent. You don't want to overextend up. Keep it nice and bent as you're coming up. Now when you do this, you're going to be hitting with the top part of your knuckles. Your palm is going to be facing you while you're doing the punch. Also, you also want to do the pivoting, okay? So that back hip is slightly going to pivot as you throw that punch. That way it gives you that nice pop you need for this punch as well. I highly suggest that you also learn how to do a jab and a cross. That way you can work on combining all these four punches into combos, do a little bit of shadow boxing. Because even if you are just a Taekwondo practitioner, you still should know how to do basic punches. And it's also fun to mix up your training and every now and then do some punch work. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see my tutorial on the jab and the cross, link is in the description box down below. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.